Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning from See Through Web, and in this video we are going to demonstrate the new advanced front end editing that became available with version 4.3 of Typo 3 that came out in November of 2009. For demonstration purposes, we're going to update some of the text on our own website, but it could be any website that's done in version 4.3 of Typo 3 and configured to use the front end editing. So, to make our changes, first I need to uh, log in, and same login as always. And of course, I have the two options for login, front end or back end, but as we are just de demonstrating, front end login. And there we go, we're now logged in. I don't need to save that. Now, if you recall from previous the pre version of front end editing, you would have edit pencils all over the page. We don't have that in this case. Rather, we have an edit page button in the top right corner. Now, I'm not going to modify my home page, so let's go find another page to edit. There we go, we'll go to our maintenance and updates pages, our updates page. We do updates and maintenance for clients, whether they have content management systems or not, and this is the page that describes it. So, I want to edit this page. I'm going to click the Edit Page button, and when I do that, you'll see a toolbar has arrived along the top. There are dashed lines around the different content areas on the page, and if I hover above them, you will see little toolbars have been created above each of those areas. Not everything, of course, the menu is not editable, but there are content areas on the page that are editable. If I scroll down a little bit, you will also see that there are some that are in a lighter gray color. Uh, this is because these are actually hidden elements. They don't show up on the page when you're not in edit mode. And I actually have a tick box here for showing them. I'm going to say, don't show me them, and they've disappeared. Okay, so let's make a change to this area right here. We, As we hover over it, we have some controls along the top. Edit, New, Hide, or Delete. Uh, delete would, of course, delete this element altogether. Hide would hide it. New is for creating a new element, and we'll get a choice of where to put that. And Edit is for editing. We also have a handle on the right side. If I were to grab that and drag, I could reposition this, uh, this element on the page. Uh, but let's edit. So I click my Edit button, and up will pop the editing form. Now I'm a full administrator at this point, so I have all the controls. Depending on your own particular axis, you may not have everything um, that you see here. But ge the general configuration is we have a general tab, a text tab, and an access tab. On the general tab, we have the title. That was the part, the red header. Let's, let's just put a little piece of text here. Uh, let's just put that. And then we have the text tab, where we have the body of that text in our standard text editor with bold and italics and styles and all those kinds of things. And let's add a new line of text in. This is a new line of text. And why not? Let's make a, a bold and uh, let's uh, link to somewhere. And we'll link that to another page on the site. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to click on my link button. Notice as I hover, it says insert web link. When I click it, it's going to pop up the link browser. That will let me link to another page, a file, like a PDF, another website, or even an email address. Let's link it to a page on the website. And I'm going to pop open my page tree here. And um, well, let's link it to, say, the web design page. I just have to click on it, and the link is made. I'm happy with this. I'm going to save it. Now I can save, which will will save the change and leave me still here in the editor, or I can save and close, which will save it and return me to the web page. Or I could just close, which wouldn't do the save. I'm going to do a save and close, uh, and it updates the content, and you can see already this is our new line of text, and it links to somewhere. So that's it. That's as easy as it gets to edit content on the website. Uh, I don't have any images on this page, but images are done in exactly the same way. Let me go and edit that and take that new line of text out. And I also don't want those two asterisks. And let's save and close. And there you go. So there's a brief overview of editing content with advanced front-end editing in Typo 3. 